Shit, what was I just saying? Love is hard. Yeah. I could just keep ignoring stuff mm. that mm. has bothered me. Mm. As I was working out this morning, I thought, I feel like I need to reach out to my actual father. Not because I want to talk to him, like, or, like, be in, like, I don't want to build a relationship with him. But I want to know, why did you leave? Because I feel like it's the shit that, as a 30-year-old man, shouldn't still be, like, looming right. over me. Mm-hmm. And I, like, it's stuff like that where I'm like, man, I need to know that some of these answers to this shit. Because I need to, I got mm. some demons. Like, I have a lot of trauma that, and we all do. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But the more I stop and, like assess my life I'm like fuck that what you went through is not normal like these circumstances are not what's happening in most people's lives so then I'm like okay well I okay I got some issues then it impacts you more than you (laughs) even probably realize and that's Mm -hmm. what I'm starting to realize like fuck there's a lot of stuff that's happened I was having like flashback triggers of like people I was in relationships with and like Mm. having a conversation with someone and being like oh my god why did I just say that And then you're looking back and like, this person reminds me exactly of another person who I used to spend way too much time with. And I I shouldn't feel this way. Right, right. It's not until you get into it and you like face plan really fucking Uh, hard. We're like, you know what? I got to check myself because I like to think I'm pretty Mm self-aware, but I know that I can get better. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like I don't know shit. Like maybe I need to talk to a therapist. Absolutely. And mm-hmm. talk to a professional who can tell me what the fuck's going on in my head because we'll be honest, in the black community it ain't cool to go yeah. to a therapist. Yeah. We get therapy for all other parts of our lives except for our minds. Like it's socially you gotta go get your knee fixed or get your, get your treatment done. Yeah. But when your mind's not right it's not, it's like, ooh, you went and talked to a shrink? You motherfucking right I went and talked to a shrink. I need to talk to one. Well, and it's so, it's so complicated. Like, the mind is so complicated mm-hmm. and the way that we're influenced by certain scenarios, whether or not you want to be affected by said scenarios. Yeah. And like you said, it's like from years and years ago that just planted this horrible little seed back here. Mm-hmm. And now mm-hmm. 15, 20, 25 years later, it rears its ugly head. And you don't even know where the hell it came from. Mm-hmm. You're like, why am I reacting this way? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. And the mind glues everything together. And you only yeah. like, really, come on. The people I find that it happens to the most are the people I appreciate the most. Which is mm-hmm. it's a sad thing, mm-hmm. but yeah. I feel like what is it? Hurt people, hurt people, and there's this other like we just we always hurt the people that's closest to us yeah. because some at some point we're like you know what? And this is how I felt this this past week. I was like you know what? I'm hurting right now. Yeah, I need somebody else to feel as much hurt as I feel, and I can't really hurt yeah. a stranger like that. No, because they don't give a fuck. Let me yeah. find somebody who I really appreciate. And kick them in the ass. You know what? You know what's weird about that though, too, is in some ways we do that because we know they'll forgive us, or we think they'll forgive us. Mm. I don't know yeah. if we do that intentionally for that, but I think that subconsciously that's why it happens. Like, you know, we get in a fight with my wife, for instance. Like, I know how to piss her off. My brother, I know how to piss him off. Yeah, I'm way better at it now because I, I went to therapy and. Right got this shit checked out when we think about our loved ones we assume that that love is unconditional right yeah. and so when we lash out or we take it out on someone that you don't mean it to but for exactly that reason Dwayne they'll forgive I me I know how to well they'll, they'll forgive me but I know how to get under their skin mm-hmm. so if I want to make someone feel the way that I'm feeling right now it's really easy yeah Yeah. but sometimes yeah. love isn't always unconditional it's not. and when you don't think about what you're saying and you say some shit that like yeah you can't take back then yeah. that's when it's really hard and yeah. it's yeah. not to say that it didn't come from a place where you really meant it but maybe you shouldn't have meant it yeah. in mm-hmm. that moment that's facts because yeah. you yeah. know wordsmithing is a and I have an English, nuance right? I have an English mind <laughs> so <laughs> you know words I, I know and that, I think that's a, the most frustrating part is like these things that we subconsciously are really good at or like even don't know how good yeah. Like, like, think about kids. Like, kids yeah. are really good at manipulating. Their, like, they learn. Oh, if I do this to dad and do this to mom, oh, I get what I want. So, like, yeah. from the beginning of time, we we know how to maneuver ourselves and put ourselves in the position to get what we want. So, mm. I think the more you learn words, it's like, oh, I could, I could do this in a way that's really not very nice. But yeah. what I'm really starting to realize is, I don't think my gift is in words. Mm, okay. I think that with realizing how frustrating. And like Instagram has become for me. Mm-hmm. I'm not channeling my art through ways 
through that platform that are satisfying to me. Okay. So I'm like, you know what? How do I take this frustration and instead of talking a bunch of shit to somebody, how do I channel this creatively to do something that makes me less of an asshole? Mm-hmm. Because I need to not be one. <laughs> like it will be. put it put it into art and not into people. Right. Yeah. So if I can take the the pain, the frustration, the anger, the fear, the insecurity, the sadness, whatever, and send that through something artistic, whether yeah. it's through a video or through you know maybe it is words through a conversation like through this podcast. But I really feel like you know you see the this is America video. You yeah. see a lot of the visuals that. That even Kendrick with with them, you're like, man, like it's heavy. I gotta be able to find a way to talk about pain and hurt without telling it to somebody whose feelings I'm gonna hurt. Mm. And we see all these artists. Kanye is a fucking prime example. His pain and his truth is in his music. Mm. You could feel how he feels through his music. Some of the art that I've created, I feel like you could feel how I feel through the stories that I'm telling. But I feel like there's another layer to that. Mm. Or there's another level to like. There's many more levels to that. And I feel like I've kind of hit the top of this creative ceiling through mm. the ways that I'm creating art and I need to find another way to get into another level of, deeper yeah and I and I think that I'm going to use traumatic situations in my life and things that really suck mm. and find a way to deal with them yeah use art as therapy without actually having to talk to a yeah. person I, I try to tell people that like there are so many people who Oh, I'm so fucking glad they, I'm getting to get this off my chest. Right now. Oh, like, no, you, I'm, no, I'm dead ass, yo. It's important. Dead ass. Like, people... Okay, so people look at my art sometimes, and my art has had different aspects to it, some dark, darker things and some not so dark. But people feel like, well, why can't you just use your talent to paint flowers or make pretty things or make happy things why are you making what? negative things why are you talking but i'm like because i don't want to do that as a fucking human being i'd rather do it in my art because it's coming out one yeah. way or the other. yeah <laughs> and it's it's coming out i'd rather do it on canvas or in Share drawing that. or yeah. something then why why <clears throat> Yeah, why does everything you have know to why. look like Lauren, flowers you know or why. puzzling? Lauren, Lauren, you know why. Because <laughs> people be... don't want to sit in being uncomfortable. But, right. but there's a spectrum to all these things. Mm-hmm. It's Good. part of the human condition. Part of what makes us human is that we can emote and acknowledge mm-hmm. those emotions and the way that we feel about things. Yeah. So to pretend like everything's roses all the time just isn't sensical nor is it our experience. It will never be our experience, and we wouldn't know what happiness is if we didn't have sadness, Mm. if we didn't have pain, if we didn't have those negative experiences from which to draw. Is it the sharing Mm. of it that draws that line? Because, yes, everyone goes through shit, but for you to create some form of art and then, like, hey, everyone, look at this, is that where the, like, oh, I don't want to see your pain. Like, I think so. It makes other people feel uncomfortable. They think art has one purpose, and it's to make them feel good. They feel selfish about it, and they feel right. like an ownership over it. Mm. You're you're putting this out into my vision and my ears and my yeah. so senses, so I don't like the way you're making me feel. But I'm like, well, it's my art. I'll right. do whatever I want with my art. Right. You don't have to like it. But, hmm. yeah, I think that's what it is. I think it just makes people feel uncomfortable and they don't like feeling that way. But it I makes guarantee you that feel... shirt that you're wearing would make a lot of people uncomfortable. It makes people extremely... The, I think it's amazing. Yeah. The, the, the text below it is the racist email that was sent mm-hmm. to me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's like... We will not be gaslit, folks. I just came to a point where I'm tired of protecting people's feelings be- from my art. Yes. You know? I don't care anymore. I'm gonna learn some of that from you. No, I'm gonna learn some of that from you. And I and I I put it out to uh to both of you a couple days ago. And Pete and Jesse and Brielle and Gabe about this idea for this thing I wanna make that will soothe my creative juices. I really feel like Mm -hmm. I need to do this artistic thing. Sounds crazy. Yeah, it's kind I'm of excited. fucked up. Yeah, yeah, I don't of, care though. That's no, I like awesome. it. That's what I'm saying. Like, crazy yeah. in a good way. Yeah, like, yeah. I, yeah, yeah. And I, I really for my creative soul, and and I feel like for my emotional well being in general, because this this I feel like will be the first time where I'm ever like, you know what? I don't care how anybody feels about this thing I'm making. 
Mm. Fuck you guys and your feelings. I'm making this. I'm making it for me. Here's how it goes down. Mm-hmm. This how, this is what it is. I feel like with musicians too, that's a thing where it's like we're gonna make music for the fans, or we're gonna make music true to self. Right. I feel like a lot of the stuff as a freelancer, a lot of the stuff I'm doing is I'm making it for other people. Exactly. That's what happened to me, man. Glitterati Communications was all about for other people. Art pays me. Was like this is for me. Yeah. It just happens to be a commercial product, but it's for me. Right. Yeah. So I, I know exactly what you're dealing with. Yeah. Like there was hmm. a point where you have this talent and you're like, I can make money off of this talent. And then you realize <laughs> when I was in art school, I kind of fell out of love with art because I was so busy doing it to pass a class. Yeah. I wasn't doing it on my own. And then when I was like, what kind of art do I actually want to make? I had no clue. Yeah. None. So <laughs> it's tough, man. Yeah. But we're figuring it out. That was my lesson of the week. Love is hard. Cool. But find ways to love better. 